I got a question from one of my clients in my mastermind group asking me to compare the squatting shoulder hang to the uh, like sissy squat or squatting bar reach where you're holding on to something and squatting down. So in both of these, you're actually holding on to something and squatting down. With the squat hang though, you have more shoulder flexion. Uh, you, you get a little bit more lengthening of the latissimus dorsi, you get a little bit more lengthening of lower pec, and in turn that increases the uh, tension demands, the force demands, on the abdominal muscles. <clears throat> also in doing this though, it's pulling me up, opposing gravity. So I decrease the amount of tension or the amount of force that I need to produce in my lower body muscles. I decrease the importance that I'm placing or the challenge that I need on my, my interface between my feet and the ground. Now, end goal is to optimize that interface, right? I don't walk around life holding on to stuff, or at least I don't want you to have to do that. Um, so eventually I want to get to some sort of body weight or even loaded squat variation where you can demonstrate that you have control of your lower body and upper body as you control how your body moves through space. Now to go back to these two example exercises that we were talking about. So let's think about somebody with a kyphosis, like a heavily rounded upper back. If I take the, the squatting shoulder hang and I consider that I have more shoulder flexion there, I have a greater extension torque to kind of oppose this kyphosis that's rampant. Uh, I would We could talk about the subtleties of kyphosis a little bit later on. I don't want to get into that right now, but with the, the squatting shoulder hang, it's generally a little bit more corrective for that. Whereas if I use something like a sissy squat where I'm holding on to a, a fixed object like the end of a, a rack or whatever and guiding myself down there, that's really good for especially elderly clients with strength deficits or maybe even otherwise physically able clients who have knee issues or back or hip issues. We use that a lot with clients like those. So that's just a little comparison between the two. Basically, if you have a kyphosis and you kind of want to cue a slightly better uh, pelvic position and rib position and thorax position, then you might want to give a shot to the squatting shoulder hang kind of variation, but don't neglect your more complex variations like just general squats, maybe a plate squat, maybe a goblet squat with a heartbeat, and maybe just a generic front squat. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, smash that like button, please.